Hi guys, it's me, Kristen. I just wanted to touch base. Uh, I'm sorry that it took me a while to get my second video out, but here it is. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, like I said in the first video, I need as much support as I can get, I can get in doing this. I am struggling a lot today. You know, some things are going on with my job. I work full time at a periodontist office and, you know, it's not the healthiest environment um, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. And that is one thing that I take a lot of pride in. And, I feel as if I constantly am at war in my own head working there. I don't know. I'll get into more detail about that maybe in other videos to come. But I just, I have someone in authority there who um, is a bully and um, threatening and very... Um, just mean, just a mean person. And um, I don't know, uh, you, you know, you could share in the comments if you've dealt with this before. I would love to hear the comments. I would love feedback. I would love to hear anything that any of you guys have. Um, so I'm trying to build this network so that hopefully I can, you know, find a new avenue for me in my life. You know, also I've been wanting to do this for so long. Um, just something in my heart since I've been a little girl has told me that I am to do big things and um, I am special and that I, you know, not specialer than other people, but just that I am special, you know, and for years I beat myself up and told myself that I'm not, but that's the enemy, I know that. And, um, you know, I, I'm i starting to learn that I am special because deep down that little voice is still there that tells me that I am special. And then of course I have that other voice that tells me I'm not. No, I, I, I know a lot of you can probably relate. So, you know, I'm working a lot on myself. I'm gonna get into a lot of this stuff about me and in other videos and I'm just hoping you know none of you think I'm too out there or too crazy well whatever even if you do whatever that's your opinion it's none of my business and I don't know what to say I guess I am crazy so I'm a little out there aren't we all in our own way right so all right let's get to the video though what I wanted to do today was a little um shopping haul you know, I went to a few different stores yesterday with my boyfriend and he was able to pick me up a few things, which was so absolutely sweet of him. And I just love him. He's, he's an angel. And, um, you know, it's not about like, oh, he spent money on me. So I love him, but it's just a thought, you know, it truly is a thought, um, that he went out of his way to do this for me. So, um, I love you, babe. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what I got. So first, we're going to do an unboxing at Unboxing Champs is where we went. And we're going to do an unboxing of some Nike Hirachis. All right, so let's see here. <gasps> They're just so gorgeous, you guys. I'm in love. Seriously in love. Bam. Here they are. Aren't they the cutest things ever? I know. Yes. So I got the kind of off whitish ones. They're not the completely white ones with like that shiny nylon-ish. They're the off white ones. And um, I got them in kids. So they are a kids seven. All right, a kid seven. I normally wear a nine, 
sometimes nine and a half even. So I had to really squeeze my foot into this shoe, you guys. That's how badly I wanted it. Because these ones I got for $66. Come on. What a steal is that? Yeah. Go to Champs. They may still have them there. I'm telling you. All right. That was a steal. And the adult ones were 120 So, mm, yep. There you go. Or wait a minute. I might be... No. Yeah. Am I losing my mind right now? I am so sorry. I believe I got these for 86 I don't know. One of them I got them for. I'm sorry. Oh, I just hit myself with that shirt. I got them for one of them. Whatever. I saved... I'm almost positive I got them for 65 Whatever. I saved a ton of money getting these in the kids. All right? So if you're able to do that, do it. Because it saves you money. All right? So... I squeezed my, my foot into it, all right? So eight and a half is what these supposedly end up being, all right? So eight and a half comes out to seven youth. And they're just so cute, I love them. Um, and I don't know how to edit yet or I would try them on and let you see them on. But you know what, I'm learning. So here they are, bam baby. Ba 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 bam. So, next, Target. Target. Yes, I said it. Yes, I said it. All right. So first off, I got this shirt. This beautiful green shirt. Sorry, you can't really see it that well. It's just a green shirt. Um. It's got it's come some some type of material. I think it's pretty good for spring because it's not too thin, but not too thick. It's just perfect. I love it. And the color it came in like a cream and a blue also. But this I have green eyes, so I thought this would be perfect. Um, yeah. So I got this. I need summer clothes badly, so I'm starting to make my summer wardrobe. Then I got this. This also is like a thinner, not too thick, and it's on the thinner side. Um, it's yellow and white. They had a bunch of colors. I can't even get started. They had a bunch of colors, stripes and um, whatever. So yeah, this, perfect. You know, you can wear it tucked in, not tucked in, buttoned, unbuttoned. I really wish I could try these on. and have you guys see them on me and maybe I will and and then post it somehow or figure out how to edit. I don't know. I need to help you guys. So then I went to Sephora, of course, and I got Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. It's a foundation powder. Okay comes in this compact and I got it in the R230 shade and so far it's held up really good I didn't know what one to get I was gonna get either Christian Dior actually I walked in thinking I'm gonna get Javinci all right that's what I wanted Javinci they didn't have Javinci there so I was like well I was planning on getting like a higher you know, like a more, I wanted like either like a YSL or a um, Armani, a more higher name brand, let's just say, Hourglass, of course. I just, my skin's been looking crappy and I just wanted it to look nicer. And I'm not putting any other ones down because trust me, I have the Hourglass foundation right here, you know, like I have... A lot of different oops I got that on me so let's just put it on the face <laughs> so I got a bunch of different stuff here so you know I'm not saying that it's just that for my face powder I was like I'm gonna go all out because I want my face to you know the final touches got to be the best so but they swore by this the Christian Dior I even tried next to it I tried the Christian Dior Laura Mercier and the makeup forever all three lined up next to each other 
and Laura Mercier was my third favorite. Second favorite was Christian Dior, and first favorite was Makeup Forever. The Laura Mercier was too sheen. Like, it almost was, like, translucent. Like, it, it didn't have much coverage at all. So, if that's what you're looking for, go to Laura Mercier. Because um, it was a great powder, except I'm just not looking for something that's um, no coverage like that. So, um, Christian Dior, man, I, I struggled between this one and the makeup forever. The only thing is I started sweating while I was in the store and I'm sorry to say, but the Christian Dior did not hold up. Makeup forever did. So therefore makeup forever won. Both of them were beautiful on the skin. Both of them, uh, were a nice coverage and exactly what I wanted. Um, they're both matte finishes. So, uh, if you're looking for more of a luminous one, I mean, the Christian Dior, I think is a little bit more on the luminous side. I would say the makeup forever is a lot more matte, but, um, the makeup forever had a lot more coverage also. So I don't know two people while I was in the store, two people within five minutes, um, said to me without even talking about any other one. I didn't bring up makeup forever. Makeup forever wasn't sitting there. It wasn't anything like that. They were just like, Hey, have you ever thought about trying makeup forever's foundation powder? And I was like, no way. The last girl just said that. So I was like, I got to try this powder and it won. So I got that. And of course, all-time favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil not the pencil I'm sorry brow definer brow definer so I get it in taupe and it just works out for me I love it I prefer it to the pencil it's just easier it's quicker it gets it on gets the job done good to go I have no patience sometimes when it comes to my makeup especially in my eyebrows so I just like to bam bam boom get the job done and over with all right you guys I'm beginning to burn on up in here and you know what um Uh, I'm trying to think what else I want to say, but this is it. So, um, you know what? I'm going to touch base with you guys a little bit later, hopefully. If not, I don't like to make promises, so that's not a promise. Um, I will touch back with you guys this weekend, all right? And I'm going to figure out this whole editing situation. I do not have a laptop, which sucks. I'm going to figure that out as well, all right? So, love you guys. Please subscribe. Bye.